Oklahoma Memorial Stadium where one of the top teams in America, the Oklahoma Sooners, hit the field, ranked eighth in the nation as OU prepares to take on a tough Bill Snyder-led K-State squad. Hi everybody, I'm Gus Johnson along with my partner Joel Klatt and welcome to Norman, Oklahoma and it's very simple for the Sooners. If they hope to make it into the college football playoff, they cannot afford to lose another game. That's right. And they've got some stars that are determined Ooh. to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, and for me, it comes down to three things about Oklahoma. The things that we know, the things that are now surprises, and then the big question mark. Let's start with the things that we know, and it's namely their passing game, led by Kyler Murray. This guy's sensational, and you know who he throws to. Number five, Hollywood Brown. He is exceptional, and they're probably the most explosive tandem in all of college football. Kennedy Brooks, that's the surprise last week. 18 carries, 168 yards against TCU. He's going to be shoulder bring more of the run game as we move forward in the second half of the season and then the question mark the defense it's been talked about and talked about and talked about new defensive coordinator Ruffin McNeil this is the second game now under Ruffin McNeil they want to simplify they want to play fast and they want to improve on that side of the ball because one thing we know if they can get any stops that offense is awfully dangerous down to no picks first to ten and they'll run it on first down with Sermon who's been battling a leg injury suffered last week against the Horn Frogs. And he'll pick up seven on first down. Denzel Goolsby, first man to him. Lee eight. Here's Murray looking for the first down. Sideline. Oh, what a beautiful catch. C.D. Lamb. And here we go. Gain of nine yards. First and ten to the 47. Murray on the play fake. Steps up. Delivers deep down the field. And incomplete. That one intended for A.D. Miller, and there's a flag. He got turned That's right there. By number 15 of the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Sermon, the pistol back with Murray. Here's Murray to toss it. He'll drop it off to the big fella. Sermon gets his shoulder square, cuts inside, and gets close to a first down. Looks like that leg is pretty good. Reggie Walker with the tackle and some pushing and shoving going on. Murray, Sermon, looking for the first down, he has it. As he goes down to the 25, Daquan Patton with the tackle. And now a flag is going to come out, second straight play that we've had the jawing and pushing going on after the play. And I love what Lincoln Riley told us early in the season. We asked him how many of them are pros. After the play, unnecessary roughness by number 71 of the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty, and it's third down. So that'll be on Evans. We asked him. Sermon. And he'll get close to the 35. Not block that defensive tackle. That's where Ky Kyler Murray's reading. As soon as that tackle just stays put, he gives the ball to Sermon, who's able to get up and get positive yardage. Murray again. He'll loft it. Wide open receiver. And it's Calcaterra. Touchdown OU. 35 yards. Grant Calcaterra. Had three catches at TCU last week. He's a Mackey Award candidate. Dominant on their opening series. Going seven plays, covering 69 yards. They score in a minute, 55, 7-0. Sooners. And they will not. Barnes running it. And the play will stand. As Barnes is cut down by Curtis Bolton. Yeah. Thompson steps up in the pocket. Thompson with running room. Oh, and he is tracked down from behind by Kenneth Murray. Short of the first down. Found him. First and 10 at the 26. Murray drops it off. Lee Morris, his high school teammate who's having a great year after being put on scholarship with the catch, a gain of six yards. Man. Murray. Over the middle, first down, Oklahoma. That time it was Marquise Brown. Yeah, first snap. Top three. Sermon. Cuts it inside. Nice move, first down. He's got a blocker. 
Down the sideline, knocked out at the 30-yard line by Denzel Goolsby after a 22-yard pickup. Oklahoma quickly to the line of scrimmage. Murray surveying, sideline. Thrown high and caught by C.D. Lamb. Another first down for Kyler Murray and the Sooners. On top, 7-zip. Murray bounces out of the pocket. Murray reverses his field and just gets rid of it. Good pressure by Kansas State, good coverage. To attempt a 32-yarder. And it's good. So Oklahoma takes a 10-zip lead with 7.30 to play in the first quarter. Thompson to throw it. Sideline. And a first down. Zuber with the catch. Isaiah Zuber from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Second and six at the 41. Empty backfield for Skyler Thompson. Thompson, quarterback draw. Fumbled it. He had more room as he gains a yard and a half. Thompson underneath and it's caught for first down. Nicely done as Dalton Schoen found a soft spot and Kansas State finding some rhythm now. Barnes and he's ambushed behind the line of scrimmage by Curtis Bolton, the redshirt senior. Bring some kind of pressure here. Thompson. All day to throw it underneath and incomplete. <laughs> Intended for Zuber, but Trey Norwood was there defensively, and the Wildcats will punt it away. And it was separated. I did that, but it was out of necessity. Second down and 11. Murray, he's got a receiver, C.D. Lamb. And there he goes. C.D. Lamb. Touchdown, OU, 82 yards. All alone. Watch this. There's a breakdown in coverage, and Lamb is going to run just a little post. You see, the corner lets him go. The safety bites off, and Lamb was all alone. Murray found him for a race down the field, and that's how quickly it happened. It's going to bite kind of up, and then what happens is that's going to create all the space behind him. And as that space gets, see, there he bites up, and then there's the space behind him. That's exactly where Lamb finds himself. And I got to credit Murray because sometimes the hardest thing to do is hit the guy who's wide open and you know it's going to be a touchdown. They can win 20 games all they want, but it's like 4A high school football competing against 5A high school football. First down, Thompson. And he's got a receiver, but Buki blasts him. Buki Radley Hiles, the freshman from Inglewood, California, with a big stick. And both players are down. Second down. I mean, Buki is lining him up, head to the side. He leads with the shoulder, and he's low. Blaze Gammon is the tight end. Blaze Gammon is 6'7", 255 pounds. Brendan Radley Hiles is only 186 pounds. He's only 5'9". My goodness. Here's Thompson. Over the middle. Caught. Still on his feet. Shown and he picks up a first down as he gets to midfield. Thompson drops it off underneath. And this time it's the fullback, Adam Harder. And he'll pick up 11. Thompson, first down, K State. Well executed as Shown makes another catch. Kansas, second and five at the 23. Runs it again. Dives forward and picks up a first down. 79% conversion rate of third down and four or less. Jordan Silman checks in as the pistol back for K-State. They give it to the up back, Barnes, and it's a first down. 8-25, first and 10 at the Oklahoma 17. This time it's Dalvin Warback, and Warback knocked backwards, and there is a flag on the play. Trey Norwood. Comes up and makes the hit. A personal foul, grabbing the face mask by number 34 of the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty in replay first down. Thompson, under pressure, steps up, 
runs it. Thompson, can he get the first down? It looks like he may have it. Down and one at the OU8. Wildcat formation. Barnes takes it. And second effort. Looks like he has it. Alex Barnes, no, it's Thompson. And Thompson dives. Did he get in? No signal yet. And it looks like he'll be short of the touchdown. Yeah, I thought I thought I was going to get in a little bit earlier on that spot. I agreed with you, Joel. They did miss that. Here, I think the elbow is the first thing that hits. The ball looks to be breaking the plane of the goal line. This looks like a touchdown. It's tough, to, Dean, to see where the elbow actually hits from this angle. There it's down, and that see that ball? That ball looks to be touching the goal line. That's all it has to be doing. He the runner scored. It's a touchdown. So Kansas State goes on a 14 play 75 yard drive. Murray drops it off sermon. And he'll get to the 30 part two. how well their quarterbacks are playing second down at five Murray running and he'll tiptoe his way out of bounds after picking up a first and that's the difference with this offense save for what Alabama is doing Alabama is doing Can anybody beat Alabama well, I, yeah I do of course I mean we saw Kentucky lose a couple of years ago in the NCAA basketball tournament absolutely they can think many teams are just going to hold Alabama down offensively like they don't hold OU up down offensively Murray and it's Hollywood because think about it let's just say for sake of argument Michigan goes and plays Alabama. If Michigan's forced to score 35 points, I don't think they can do that. A talented redshirt freshman. Here's Murray over the middle, and it's caught. Rambo. And he'll get out of bounds after another big gain of 17. Kendall Adams tosses him out of play. They do a great job of it. Murray sprints out of the pocket, throws. Another first down. This time it's Calcaterra. Walter Neal tackles him, but gains of 10, 17, and this one a 21-yard gain for Lincoln Riley in the Sooners' offense. Murray, another short pass. This time, it's Miles Tees. I mean, everybody is touching the rock right now for the Sooners. They have a quarterback that can run it. Option, pitch, Brooks, six. OU, four possessions, four scores. 23 to 7. Well, it's just going to be right here. You're going to stare at this outside linebacker. I mean, I have no idea what you would do if you're in that position. Daquan Patton is in no man's land because he's not going to catch Brooks on the outside and take. Murray having another great day. This time he runs the old school Oklahoma option play. And the Sooners take a 24-7 lead. Silman in the backfield. They give it to him running left, and he's taken down. Kenneth Mann shot out of a cannon with the tackle. Outside to the right. That's when he gets in the backfield. Now he's in position to affect the play, and he gets Barnes down to the line, down to the ground. Winkle that they've got going on. Thompson. Incomplete. Looks like he had a receiver, but Justin Royals. Wildcats send it away. C.D. Lamb backpedals. It's a take a bounce, and it goes out of bounds around the 10. First and 10 of the 10. Empty backfield. Murray gets out of the pocket. Murray with the speed. Sideline run and he's out of bounds at the 35. This kid has incredible speed. Boy. Play baseball, but the way that his season gone, who knows, man? Murray to the sideline. And Lee Morris, his high school teammate with the catch, Walter Neal, brings him down. I don't know if all players gonna play football. Third down and two. Murray over the middle. What a pass. Beautiful touch. And another first down, Vasquez with the catch, and it's a gain of 24. You're hitting a free throw, and it's got to be perfect, and he laid it right over the rim. He'll throw it again. Murray looks backside. Dancing around like Fran Tarkington. 
Sermon. Another first down for Oklahoma. Now they're showing off. Yeah, and Murray's showing off. So he comes back. Sermon's not even supposed to be in the route, but he knows he's an eligible receiver. Watch. He tells him, hey, hey, get out there. Just just release, release. And he dumps it over the top. Sermon gains positive yardage. That you. First down and 10 of the 25. Murray will toss it again. Murray. Look at the time. Over the middle. First down. OU. Carson Meyer. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And I think you're right, partner. He does have get away from the cop speed. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. My man. Love coming here. Seven-time national champions. This time Kansas State will get a chance. Zuber lost it. Loose ball. OU has it at the 21. Just Zuber's going, and then there's, yeah, there's 56, Wyatt Hubert, and he just runs into a back, and that ball pops straight up. Lack of ball security. OU on the money. Ball back and a chance to add to this lead with 2.08 left in the first half. Oakland. They give it to him. Side steps. Gets through a keyhole. Still on the move and picks up the first down. Hollywood Brown, the receiver at the bottom of your screen. They go in that direction and incomplete. That's exactly what they tried to do. Calcaterra to the corner. I thought Murray threw that one a bit quick. 27 yards away, and it's perfect as usual. Will he be a punter or will he be a kicker in the NFL? That's the big question for this young man. 34-7. Playing fast, and it's a, just a touch of a difference. Third down and four to 31. Here's the screen. Red perfectly. Curtis Bolton says to Joel Klatt, Nick, pick this play. <laughs> I tell you what, Bolton does a great job. Here's Bolton. He's right at his linebacker position. And then he's just going to not get fooled. Watch how his eyes are there. His eyes are there. And then now he comes in for that screen, even though Thompson was faking that pass to the right. So a great job of being disciplined with your eyes. That's always what you hear from defensive coaches. Nine for his offense. And a handoff, Kennedy Brooks gets downhill. Shot down and around the 14. See if they go down and get a quick score, it might be over for the Stars. Here's Brooks, first down, hits the sideline. Kennedy Brooks, the red shirt freshman from Manfield, Texas, cuts it inside. Touchdown, Sooners, 86 yards. job first you get the full block so the offensive guard here Ben Powers is going to get up the middle and then now it's Brooks and watches he's going to just creep out to the right side and then the angle that he takes right there it just beats Walker he gets to the sidelines and now he's gone this guy has home run ability and then the cutback and he gets himself into the end zone wow another explosive run his second touchdown of the day Oklahoma up big Sense. Thompson will run it. And that defense there once again. As a matter of fact, Bob Stoops was an assistant coach for guess who? Bill Snyder right. at Kansas State. And Thompson runs it, throws it out wide, incomplete. Jones, the intended receiver. And Kansas State will punt it away. Uh, this is a poor read by Thompson. He's got blockers for blockers here. I mean, the Colorado games and watch some of these great Oklahoma teams. Far side. Well, that was caught by Vasquez. Had the Boz era. I was Kyler Murray. Bobbles a snap. Picks it up. Murray. Chicken. Sabbath. A gain of five. I'll just tell you this right now, 90% of quarterbacks right there would have been like, oh my goodness, and just totally freaked out. And Murray just calmly picks up the ball, and he's like, oh, I'm about to run away from this guy. And then he just sprints out to his left and gets the first down. But he's a middle infielder, isn't he? Murray runs it. 
hesitation. Gets to the 45. It's getting to that point, though. I got, I got to tell you. It's for close to 300 yards, 294. Murray delivers. 300 plus CD Lamb. Touchdown Sooners. That might be his final play of the game. Probably should be. And he got away with one. Remember I told you earlier in the game, Duke Shelley, the best corner for Kansas State, is not playing. Has a chance here, but he gets caught in between. The ball is floated, and so he goes for it. But if you go for it, you got to at least keep that back arm on the wide receiver because there's no help down the field. And as soon as Lamb wrestled that ball away from McGee, he was gone. You know, you had the average, I think it was 12,000 fans. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Redmond with the tackle for the loss. You had to average about 12,000 fans. They couldn't get 12,000 fans in. You, you can do it for as long as you want to. Sideline throw and caught. Looks like that's Malik Knowles. Bill Snyder is the only active coach in the College Football Hall of Fame. The surprise of this season is his ability with efficiency, Gus, to throw the ball down the field. And we're still in the third quarter. Third and six. Austin Kendall. Looking for the first down, and he has it. And Pledger running. First down. As he's finally taken down by Eli Walker after a 13-yard game. Oh, this after is a good the play, catch. a personal foul by number 52 of the offense. It's a 15-yard penalty, but the runner made the line to gain, so it's still first down. The, the reason that took so long is they were trying to say, here's 50, here's Tyrese Robinson. See Hubert and him are running. Okay, there's the first push, and then there's another push. And that's obviously the one that draws the flag. And, Pledger. First down and more as he spins forward. That offensive line backups in now, continuing to fire off the football, but another, another flag. flag. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness by number seven of the defense. It's a 15 yard penalty and a first down. This is, this is, I gotta tell you, I've been around. Big 8 and now Big 12 football. I played in this conference, Gus. I've never seen Kansas State play with this pedestrian of effort and this undisciplined a character. First down to 10 at the 48. And a fumble. Kendall picks it up. And Kendall bounces it around. And slides down. Close to a first down. And they may give it to him. What it was like to coach with Lincoln when he finally got a chance to hear him. And the calls. Here's a reception, A.D. Miller. And A.D. Miller. Nice stick for Kansas State's Jerron McPherson. Alabama, their backups are as good or better than anybody out there. Ledger. He's proving that he is definitely a serviceable backup for OU. Kyle Ball with the tackle. Two at the 21. And the Sooners stay on the ground with Pledger, and he picks up a first down. That's what the defense is trying to do in combats. Sutton this time. And Sutton breaking tackles. Gets close to the five, a 12 yard run ball with a tackle. And guard line. Pledger. And he's tackled for a loss. Great job by the Kansas State defense as Kyle Ball came up and made a play. Austin Cyber trying to make it three for three on the day. He's hit a 32 yarder, a 27 yarder. This one from 22 yards out. And good. 51 to 7. 12.57 to go in the fourth quarter. Five for K State. They throw it out wide, and it's caught. Nice play this time for Kansas State. You know, a new voice, something to. Hopefully improve this defense. Ruffin McNeil not only has head coaching experience as Kansas State's Silliman, 
Picks up the first down, a gain of 12. He was at East Carolina, but going all the way back. If you could put in the conversation along with Nick Saban as maybe the greatest head coaches of all time. Thompson winds up, throws it down the field, and nobody home. And before all you OU fans hit me up on Twitter, yes, Bud Wilkinson would be in that conversation as well. Honest, right? Pass interference by number 11 of the defense. It's a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. So that's, and in particular, in the fashion in which he lost it. Go for McNeil. And here's a run for Thompson. Thompson down the sideline, and he'll just step out of bounds deep in Oklahoma territory. Touchdown, Kansas State. Necessarily an epidemic as much as its decision time is creeping up. Oh, good move there. And a very good run. But this is the play. I think you're going to see more of this in the future because remember the, the signing day, I believe it's December. I want to say 13th or 19th, one of those right in there, but it's right in that middle of December. Seven. And Silman taken down again. This time it's Jalen Redmond. Can make a huge difference. Second down and 11 with the 48. Ball deflected and incomplete. Isaiah Thomas. Guys and their development in the second half. They'll throw it again. Near side. And that ball caught by Malik Knowles. Knowles dropped by Kelly. In the ball game. Here's Pledger. First down. Let's quickly check in with Greg Wolf. Here's a handoff. Pleasure. He threw out Kinsler, if I'm not mistaken. Ian Kinsler. By a mile. He did. Austin Kendall in a quarterback for Kyler Murray. Hands it off to Pledger. And Pledger still on his feet. Picks up the first down. Great run. Great run. Second and six at the 46. And Pledger again. And if you listen to the rumor mill, if Jason Garrett does not survive with the Dallas Cowboys, a many feel that Jerry Jones will come after Ruffin McNeil. Lincoln Riley. I mean, excuse me, Lincoln Riley. Partner, last week we saw a team that had one loss, and I said that it's real, it's legitimate, they've got a legitimate shot at the playoffs. And we see another team this week with one loss that it is absolutely real. Oklahoma has a legit a sh a shot of the playoff as anybody in the country. That team last week was Michigan. Gus, speaking of that explosive offense, today coach a season high in total yards for you on offense. Kyler Murray is responsible for a lot of that. You highlighted his competitiveness to us yesterday. How has he continued to make this offense better? Uh, he's playing within himself. You know, he's understanding the different challenges that, that all these different teams have brought. And uh, he's continuing to improve, not listen to the outside, continue to work and improve and, and kind of just relying on the expectations we have within our walls. And that's what he needs to keep doing. Some changes defensively with this team. And you said you wanted to see progress. Where did you see progress today? And we played a complete game. You know, we really stopped the run well. Uh, other than a couple third and longs, the first half really played well. Uh, the energy, the emotion, we're tackling better. We're just playing better team defense. Some teams have that special it factor. You had it last year. What is that it factor for this team this year? Well, you continue to find that as you go along. You know, you continue to battle back throughout the season. It's a long season, but we've always played our best ball here at the end of the year. Now it's time for championship November. We can't wait. All right. Thank you, Lincoln. All right. Thanks.